And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some On Guard Yetis. We have a sweet donation deck here and we have three very cool new donation decks that we're going to be playing. You can see our schedule up on the top left. This one is going to be a Demacia and Freljord mid-range deck that we're going to be putting out some big beefy units and then using this burst speed spell three mana On Guard give all of your allies challenger this round so it only works for one round but it gives everything challenger and so you're able to uh, take down a whole bunch of stuff so that works great with quick attack where we have lucian and senna with the quick attack with that um, and it also works great with regeneration we're going to have garen at the top end of our deck being uh, having regeneration so we have a quick attack and regen and just really really big units also a whole bunch of five fives around here we have we of course have our yetis with enraged yeti as well as ancient yeti um so those are some some yetis that can come down pretty quickly like in uh in like the mid game and like turn four five six seven stuff like that um we can double spell uh being able to play you know have enraged yetis and cheap ancient yetis and be able to play those and play another big threat maybe also an on guard we have our sith right here that can give everything fearsome um, so maybe we like have uh, you know uh, be able to use on guard to have Sithria challenge something that's bigger, give everything else fearsome, and make them not be able to block their small things. That's another thing we can do. Um, let's see, we can uh, we can have Senna. We can kind of suicide Senna in with single combat or on guard to level up our Lucian. That could be something cool that we could do. Uh, but yeah, this is this is going to be our deck. Just um, pretty pretty straightforward. We got some buff with Averroes and Hearthguard and with Omenhawk, and we have just nine spells. We got Sharp Sight, Single Combat, and the On Guard. Those are going to be our spells. All right, let's go ahead, go ahead and get to it. Let's play five games over in ranked with On Guard Yetis. We playing against some ramp. All right, let's try to get some big units out quickly. We're keeping Trapper. I mean, both of these fives are awesome, but I feel like we shouldn't keep both of them. Um. It's possible that I should be mulliganing for like the one drops more, like Omen Hawk in particular. I'm thinking that like you know like we uh, hold on to our spell mana for the sharp sight. I want the Garen to be able to use like sharp sight and be able to uh, be bigger than um, a Trundle. That's what I want there. Patience. Okay. My shield is yours. My shield is yours. So it definitely looks like they have another catalyst of Aeons. King of Trolls coming through. <clears throat> or not. No, they had Trundle. Okay, let's see. So they have seven, eight, nine, ten mana wise. When did we catch? I think we just play double five drops. Chill in the air. Many drives under one banner. That was a really nice ice field archer. I wasn't really expecting that card. So basically, this is us trading the the three mana cards. I could try Sharp Sight on Trapper. I guess I might as well try. I mean, that that probably, you know, like they're probably going to use a Frostbite card on it. That'd be my that'd be my assumption. Um, but I guess that's trading Sharp Sight for Frostbite card, which which actually is really not a bad trade. Okay. That's also not bad for a card that was just going to die anyway.
trap is set. I smell a fight! Hmm. Making the dead deader. Follow my blade! So can't can't save Garen. A good good turn for them there with Ice Pillar turned to mirror. I would love to play these things before combat, but they're a, you know they're a Mina Swiftfoot deck. I, can't, I don't think I can afford to play anything before combat. Mina Swiftfoot, feel the rush, that kind of stuff. So we're just going to you know go out here. So we're just going to go on guard and. Try to kill him, kill him with these two, I guess. So basically, they, I forced them to have a spell for each one of these. All right, we'll take it. GGS. Okay, let's see what we got. Another Trundle deck. This one go in Shadow Isles. I can spin their things around. If you play against the KDA board, you get to do your own beatboxing and stuff. But you don't get to change their songs. I was hoping you guys to do that, but you don't get to do that. All right. Anyway, we're gonna we're definitely mulliganing on guard. We're just gonna kind of do the same thing that we just did. We're gonna keep our champions. Cool. Got the ominous hawk to start with. That's a good one. No, hapless aristocrat. That's a bad one. Ouch. Uh, yeah. I think it's just best to just keep the omen hawk around here, where we can like give the omen hawk challenger uh, to something that's pretty scary. Border from here. Well, don't really have anything I want to play net right now. These are good blockers. These are last breath units. No room for doubt. Please, I have connections. Look out for reavers. Light the signal. Looking grim. Okay. So no ramp for them. So we're just, Set free, just passing. Monster. All right, so Garen can't fight Thresh and kill Thresh, but Ancient Yeti can. So I could go Ancient Yeti single combat to fight Thresh to keep Lucian alive. So I guess we do that. I would obviously much rather have Garen in play, especially with Ancient Yeti's cost continuing to go down. And, uh, you know, we want you want Garen in play as fast as possible to be able to strike the two times. But it looks like we just got to play the Yeti. Ooh. That hurts. That hurts. Show them what we're made of. worked pretty good for them but I still have I still have a lot of power in hand maybe we should be playing hearth guard right there get out of my mind 
monster! Eyes to me! Frostbite is just really effective against, you know, play, you know, our strategy is play big units and challenge. Uh, so Frostbite's very effective against that strategy. Lead our talk. Demacia, now and forever. I don't know if they're trying to decide between Ruination or if they're trying to decide, like, what to Vengeance and or Crumble. I feel like this card right here is a Ruination, a crumble or a vengeance. Let's end this. Really hope they don't have another flash freeze. We do what is right. On guard. If they have like no spell they can play right here, that's you know, pretty powerful play of just killing all their stuff. Okay. So that will kill my Garen, but Finally, we, can have peace. we get rid of all their stuff. Will all right, so Lucian has seen Scythria and Garen both die, and is pretty sad about it. I'm a little worried about Ruination right here. I'm just going to play the Omen Hawk. Set free, you monster. Um, I'd rather have Garen in play, but I guess I'll go Hearth Guard. Buff up these things. Stop killing my Lucian. The thing is, like, we're we're actually we're honestly like not really that far ahead on the board, but they got five extra cards in hand. I'm just kind of scared of ruination. Got your back. Yeah, I know that's the thing. Like, open attack's not really that good. I I think that they're gonna be winning this game. You know, like, they play Field of Rush, they win. They play Ruination, they win. I guess they Ruination here. Like, one Garen isn't going to defeat them anyway through a Ruination. So I might as well just play Garen. Right? Like, why Why should I try to play around Ruination when, I, when if they play it, I'm just going to die anyway? Yeah, yeah, no reason to try to play around things you can't beat. Try to try to win, you know, we're going to try to win the game and, and uh, assume that they don't have any of those kind of cards because we can't, we can't defeat any of those kind of cards anyway. Not the best draw of just another Garen. I don't know if I'd love a judgment here. If I have a choice of, like, one kind of deck to not play against, it's probably the Frostbite Ruination deck. <laughs> Right, can we can we just not play against a Frostbite Ruination deck? It's gotta be the worst thing to see. My steel is yours. Avarosans, stand together! I don't want to proactively use judgment and then they respond with some kind of removal or frostbite. See, there's their frostbite. I guess it's the best to use this on the hearth guard. 
Justice. Yeah, they've used two Vile Feast, two Withering Will. Was it two Vengeance? I remember one Vengeance. Was it two? I think it was just one. They used a, a cr I think it was a Crumble and a Vengeance. I think. Oh, wait. I guess that's why I used it on the Garen for the... Because basically, I wanted, like, if they had another Frostbite card, I wanted them to do it on the Hearth Guard because I wanted the Garen to still continue on. So I, I guess I don't get to level up Garen with this. So I guess that's a thing. Yeah, so that that's the thing. It's like if I didn't want, I didn't want to put it on the Garen. They use another Frostbite on the Garen, and then they save their Trundle. But obviously, having Garen leveled up would have been nice. I mean, I guess we just keep on drawing Garens. Death is like the wind, always by my side. It's just Garen and on guards. That's all we get. I thought you'd never ask. Let's end this. This is mercy. No way. We must not relent. But now Garen's leveled up. It might have been safer to do that the other way. Nothing escapes my watch. Uh, yeah, we're Where we're never gonna get through these hapless aristocrats and Avarice sentries. I long for a worthier. Ancient Yeti, can you get through? I will cut you down. Oh God. Yeah, we, we've lost two Scythrias already. Justice! I just, I can't, I can't win this. We're gonna go to the next game. It wasn't enough. They're at full health. All their cards are defense. They're getting a level two champion every turn. This is, uh, I like this matchup. Like, they have, like, their Scorched Earths and that kind of stuff. But, you know, damage-based things, we are going to be very good against damage-based things. Um, so I like, I like keeping both these Ancient Yetis. We're not going to, we're going to be, you know, slow. We're not going to be, like, fast out of the gate. But uh, come, like, turn six or turn seven, we're going to probably about... Uh, yeah, turn six, turn seven. We're going to just throw a bunch of stuff at him and surprise him with that. Uh, question is, how much LP do you think you will need for the top 700 tournament? Right, the last I checked just like a day or two ago, there was not very many people that were actually in Masters. It was just a little over... 700 so it wasn't it wasn't very many all right now i could single combat and kill this uh three two but it is just a three two and obviously i could use the sharp sight and save also but then i'd just keep my trapper at one health i don't think i really want to do either i think i'd rather just have these spells for whenever we have ancient yetis and garens in play so right, right now, it doesn't look like you're going to need very much LP at all. Oh. 
fight for those who cannot. So we'll take where it takes, you know, two of their spells to kill one of our things. Just keep on doing that forever. Yeah, that's why we. Sh that's why we saved at Sharp Sight. All right, Garen will get that regen. Seven mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can cast everything in my hand besides Cythria. I don't really want these Fleet Feather Trackers to die to Static Shock. I Fleet Feather Tracker is just a card that I don't love here, but uh, we're, we're going to be playing them now. Okay, Valerian Blade has some, some good information there. So it says there are now over 800 Masters. There's about gaining about 20 to 30 Masters players per day. Uh, rank 700 went from 0 LP to 17 LP in the last 24 hours. So at, if you use at 10 to 15 LP per day for rank 700, it'll be about 150 to 225 by December 4th. Okay, cool. And so that's... Right there you saw what I was talking about, though, with our deck of... You know, like, I didn't do a whole lot early, but then turn 6, turn 7, and it turned out that was, what, I think that was turn 7 for us. Uh, we just, just drop a whole bunch of those yetis and overwhelm our opponent. Playing against some aggro. So that's not Ruination Frostbite deck. So that's good. Ooh, on guard could be so cool in this matchup, but we, you know, we need we need bodies. Um, our deck is filled with bodies, though. I, I, it's really tempting to keep the on guard because it's just a, a cool card and it's like what our deck's built around. So it's really tempting to keep it. Ooh, I don't know. I'm gonna do it. Oh, another spell. No, we need bodies. Okay, that's a body. Okay, no, yeah, so no jury rig. The sun's out, the crowd's ready. Let's rock it! Now we, we drew two other spells. There's nine total in our deck. You know, we have 31 units, 9 spells. Uh, I keep one spell and, you know, we draw the other two, so... Definitely wish... Push back the darkness. Definitely wish I would not have kept that on guard, but... I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. That's weird. Let's do this. Cool, so we only take four damage. Not too bad. Okay, we need another body. Ugh, not exactly. Let's go with Lucian attacking. We'll save on guard. Rules are made to be broken. Like those Certainly consider playing people. it. But we're just gonna save it. And I could single combat kill the challenger. While it has zero power. But I think that's kind of a little bit of a waste of that card. We'll have a single combat for after Garen. The people are my strength! Yuck. My heart and sword for Demacia. My Blurg in blue for Bablavia. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that from from Jinx there. I don't think I've ever heard that. 
Alright, so this is us taking eight. It's, it's definitely just not worth a life to save Lucian. We must not relent. Yeah, that was the funniest Jinx slide I've ever heard. That was good. Hey, Dark Dragoon, good morning. Alright, so I go on guard. Maybe I just pass. Are, are they passing? Whoa! Risa from Dark Dragoon. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, that's awesome. First stream ever watched over here. So basically, so I can use On Guard to try to kill the, the crowd favorite with the Lucian, but then I'm just like killing a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> you know, I was hoping that they were going to play something else, but I, you know, I guess killing crowd favorite is, you know, just worth three mana to kill crowd favorite, I guess. No room for doubt. I don't have to challenge, but they're just going to block anyway. Okay, but that works. We got the crowd favorite out of here. No, not another Jinx. That is the scariest card. That's why I would have loved for them to play first, where I could add my gear and challenge the Jinx. The answer is here somewhere. Hmm, I wonder. Wow. Wow. That's the the two best cards for like them to have their Jinx into Augmented Experimenter. That's pretty sweet. Yes, please do that. Thank you. That's a bad challenge because they should challenge the two ones. Then I have, you know, so then I have to take the the juice damage. I guess it's still just like me dying anyway, but. The trap is set. Break their ranks! Maybe I should have played the Ancient Yeti here. And attacked with that. Ugh, get so punished. If I would have played Ancient Yeti last turn, then I could have gone Trapper and Hearthguard. This turn. Yeah, that was that was a bad play. That, that was just a, a straight up bad play by me. Doesn't matter though. GG's. Uh, great last two cards. Second Jinx and Augmented Experimenter. Well, I hate this matchup. This is a matchup that I think I think even just like the same opponent that we yeah, I think this is just the same opponent that we played the first our first loss. Uh, so not very confident in winning it this time. Either you know, just removal heavy deck. We saw like like they're just playing a, a really good deck against us just in general, because right, like they had all these hapless aristocrats and Averroes and sentries and <laughs> like we just could we could never do damage to them. In Avarosa's name. I don't think I can let. Leave your bags at the door. I can't like you can't play Senna against an Avalanche deck and just have you know like Lucian Senna no nothing else. They're as good as dead. Against the Avalanche deck. When you're angry. Bring in the heat. I like to, uh, like I've said many times, I like in this scenario attacking with Lucian first. So like if they would use some kind of removal on Lucian, then you'd turn the Senna into being the double attack. Because they want to use removal on Lucian, right? If you just do it the other way, they just let you hit him with Senna and use the removal on Lucian and, and you only hit him for four. Tough call. Hearthguard or Garen? 
So against against some decks, you would block there and flip Lucian. Not against a, a Shadow Isles deck filled with removal. I don't think that that's worth flipping Lucian because I think it's pretty easy to kill Lucian and, and like my Senna attacks better. So I, I don't think that's worth it against a deck filled with removal. They're both good to play early, right? Like Hearthguard, we get the bonuses here. Garen, we try to get the, the strike level up. Let's go with the Hearthguards. Gosh, I hate these Apples Aristocrats. <laughs> Their deck's just designed to beat ours. Really good chump blockers. Frostbite. Ruination. My gun does the talking. Our banner will lead the way. Please, I have connections. Come back Fight the signal fires. The end. So they're left with seven cards, I'm left with six cards. Many tribes under one banner. We're gonna have some big ones coming up. Wow, look how big that single combat is. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Old eyes still see far and clear. The single combat's very good against Crumble, right? Like we have seen Crumble. Be a card. I know I could use single combat, but I think I kind of want to protect against Crumble. Let's just do this. Today we fight as one. Now we got a good attack here. Alright, so we got there. Tiana. My opponent thought they were safe. But the crown guard... Uh, I don't know. I don't have anything clever to say. <laughs> I wish I did. They thought they Because usually, you know, I was thinking like, alright, they thought they were safe, but the crown guard protected? But wait, they think they're safe. So the crown guard's supposed to attack, but it's supposed to guard. And so I, I couldn't come up with like a good um, witty thing there of like, they think that they're safe, but my guard said they weren't safe that was <laughs> so that's that's kind of weird but yeah so our our crown guard attacked fooled them they thought they were just guarding but our crown guard got aggressive all right so there we go on guard yetis um pretty cool deck here the the one like real play i wish i would have done was against that jinx deck you know i played the on guard to take down the six five i wish i would have had even more patience to just pass one more turn and, you know, pass back and maybe they play the Jinx, which they probably would have because I don't think they would have played around on guard. They, you know, they play their Jinx. I then get to challenge the Jinx with the Garen. And who knows? Maybe that maybe that's just a little bit different then. So, yeah, pretty pretty good deck. Just efficient. Uh, that Yeah, that was a nice... Uh, uh, Garen, you know, Garen looked pretty good. We definitely debated in here, like, this... Uh, Kaba, you know, built this deck and, and said that they uh, Kaba played Trundle. But now the Trundle nerf wanted to try Garen instead. Um, but, you know, who maybe Trundle would have been better. We didn't get to do, you know, too much, like, level up regeneration Garen type stuff that maybe having, you know, Ice Pillar, you know, even, like, against, like, that Jinx deck. Like, I, I don't remember if we would have had, like, Ice Pillar to be able to block or, you know, overwhelm if, if we would have had the mana for that kind of stuff. Maybe. Um, so, you know, I'm not sure, like, that's, that's so close of, like, which one of these two to play, Trundle or Garen. They're both, they're both good, and they both, like, uh, you know, have different things. You know, like, the Garen is, you know, gets you to rally, like, where a deck like this, you definitely want more attacks, so that's something that you want, really want, and, of course, it's the 5-5 five, five body immediately. Trundle, a little bit smaller body immediately, but then you get the Ice Pillar that's pretty awesome, you know, with, yeah, Ice Pillar just does a whole lot of things, as y'all know from playing Trundle, and, of course, you get the Overwhelm with that, too. 
so tough to say. We, you don't really like grow Trundle with the attack too much, like with the Behold, because you're basically just having the Ice Pillar. But anyway, that's what we got. That's On Guard Yetis. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.